Hi everyone, pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson here. You're watching Get Your Sax Together. On this week's video, just a quick video on a very important topic, and that is how to clean your saxophone. What I see far too often is people finish their practice session, the mouthpiece cap goes back on the mouthpiece, and then the sax goes in the box. Now that is not a good idea for many reasons, which I'm gonna teach you in this video. However, in the meantime, if you enjoy the content of the channel, please do subscribe, click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Give me a thumbs up, make sure you get a comment down there, because I love to hear from you guys. And there's some cool stuff on my Instagram, so go and check out my Instagram, the link is up there. Also, I'm gonna to put together a little PDF of just the main points from this video. You can get that by following the link down in the description. So, let's find out how we clean our sacks properly. Okay, so you've done your playing session, you've done your gig, you've done your practice, whatever it is you've done, first thing we do is take the crook off the sacks. Then, remove your mouthpiece cap if you haven't already, and most important thing is to take your reed off. Don't leave your reed on the mouthpiece. Number one, it'll go all warped and dry out and it'll damage the reed. And number two, you can harbor bacteria in there, which if you don't clean it off, can then give you an infection. So very important, take the reed off and I would advise getting a dedicated reed case. This particular one is by Rico and it has these humidity pouches that keep your reeds at a good humidity. So I'm gonna pop my reed carefully in there. Then take off my ligature, and I've got a crook swab, a neck swab. This one is by BG. Now I like this one because it's got a sort of stiff cord on it with a bend in it. Sometimes the, the uh, clarinet type pull throughs are a bit difficult to get through, so I really love this one. This is by BG, it's an A31. So in that goes like that, and put it through. I usually do it a couple of times, and then the second time, I'll just use this and take all the extra moisture and any little bits of mess and stuff off my mouthpiece, and then when it comes through the other end, I just put my pinky in, wipe inside there, wipe around the piece that goes in the tendon joint of your sax. And that is all ready for next time now. So that's the first important step. And then you can put your ligature back on, put your mouthpiece cap back on. Now what I do is I've got a little pouch that I put the neck and the mouthpiece in and that goes in the bell. But just as easy, you can take your mouthpiece off and put that separately in the case. So that's the first thing we do. Second thing we do is we take the body of the instrument and we have to swab this out. So I've got another BG swab. This is an A30 for alto sax, but obviously get the appropriate one for tenor. And it's quite stiff, it's like a kind of, uh, like a chimney sweeps brush almost. And all these swabs have got a weight on the end. That is gonna go down the top of the sax. And then the string comes out the other end and that just gets pulled through the instrument and takes away any excess moisture. I'll put all the links for these swabs for the neck and the body in the PDF that you can get down in the description. So go and click down there and get your free PDF. So that is the saxophone cleaned out. Now, an extra thing you can do is I've got this small BG absorbent wipe. You can just go underneath each of the pads and give them a little wipe with a bit of pressure from the top like this. And you can go down your whole instrument doing that, especially if you've had a particularly hard gig. Now that's gonna take all the moisture off the pads and keep them in tip top condition for years to come. This is also a really good little swab uh, for your G sharps and your C sharps if they're a bit sticky as they tend to stick all the time. So that's the main body of the instrument. Now, a lot of people have these, you know, fluffy dust, you know, I don't know what you call them really. The big fluffy things that you stick down the instrument. I wouldn't recommend that. Number one, it's gonna leave small pieces of fibers inside your instrument, which can build up and clog it up. And number two, all it does is it uh, keeps the moisture within the instrument. It just soaks up into the moisture and then it makes your pads moist. So I would not recommend those 
I don't even know the name for it. What is it? Like a like a body brush or whatever it is with the end cap. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. So that's the main part of the instrument. Now, one extra piece of maintenance that you might need to do on the fly on gigs is you have a sticky key, which is not coming up properly. So what I use is this stuff. It's, uh, it's called Servisol AeroClean 50, but you can get any fast evaporating electronic uh, cleaning solvent. Some people use cigarette lighter fluid and then all we do is you spray a little bit of that onto your um, Q-tip or cotton bud as we call them in the UK and then once it's got the stuff on it you can just wipe, uh, it's always the G-sharp isn't it, you can just wipe the pad especially where the ring meets the pad and that will clean off the gunk and it won't leave any nasty residue. I wouldn't use uh, those coated papers because they can leave a little bit of residue on the pad. Rizzlers and things are okay, but this will really kind of clean it off and get the gunk. I find that a really successful method. So that's a few basics. Now in terms of the actual bodywork, just a soft woodwind cleaning cloth like this and you can just polish into it. Now be careful you don't pull springs off because sometimes you can be cleaning it and a small spring will snag on your cloth and then you'll pull the spring out. So just a soft cloth and you can give your sax a good clean over it like that. A few basics thing, but number one, take your reed off and put it in a case. Number two, swab out your mouthpiece and neck, very important. Number three, swab out the main body of your instrument. Optional, number five, give the pads a dry off before you put it back. And if you want to do a little bit of maintenance on the fly, you can use this fast electrical solvent. I'll put all the links in the free PDF in the description. And finally, to polish the brass, you can just use a simple cloth. I wouldn't recommend using any solvents or polishes or brass or anything like that on your instrument. Just use a cloth and that should see you through okay. So I hope that's helpful. And Keep that sax nice and clean, look after it, because the worst thing that can happen is you'll get bacteria and you'll get an infection in your mouth. Now, I've just had a mouth infection and I couldn't play for a month. It wasn't because I didn't clean out my instrument, it was something else, but I wouldn't recommend getting a mouth infection. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the quick video this week about how to clean your saxophone, and next week we'll be back with another Hall of Fame classic, because I know you guys love them. As usual, please do subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified of new videos, check out my Instagram, and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down there because I'd love to hear from you. If you want to see the main points of the lesson today, go down into the description and there's a free PDF with a worksheet all written out with all the main points that I've made in today's video. <laughs> I'll see you next week on Get Your Sacks Together.